There's a heavy B set of Vitality expecting this play, but the Xbox smoke has gone down. It's already fading, but FaZe have beaten it to the punch. They're up on this A site, and RPK is calling for help. RPK in with one, but Kirby gets the response. Now, we haven't actually got a chance to cast this phase squad yet. I'm excited right. to see Kirby for my like initial eye test in the server. Zai Wu and the rest of the gang on for the retake in this four on two. It's Brokey and Kirby in the hot seat. And now it is just Brokey. Now, we were saying this man's good at clutches, but that's a pretty tall order to find a 1v4 in the first round here. Yeah, it's not fun. And I've played CS with someone like Risk, and I know he's not that good. So can someone explain <laughs> that to me? Nico going to open this round up with a kill onto Zai Wu. And that's the AWP already removed from this round. Sorry, Niels. Nico, <laughs> in he goes, looking for kills at the A site. And they are in rotation up through CT. Rain, while he is good for one, now he's left Nico here all alone. And Brokey Whoa. tries to come in to help out, but he falls as well. Kirby is wrapping all the way through B, coming in on a very, very long rotation while Cold Zera holds down the long side. It's a two versus three, but the element of surprise may be in favor of Kirby to reclaim that advantage. Yeah, playing tight, close to the wall. Shox was actually expecting it, but he didn't know that Kirby had already gotten out from B. He was looking at the doors, and so Kirby very fast, very much ahead of Vitality's expectation, and now RPK in a clutch. He has the bomb. We actually saw, um, I think it was Dupree in this exact position the other day. Oh, dear, he's caught Kirby. He's, is he going to stick around with the bomb? That's what Dupree decided against. He falls into mid, oh. he gets shot in the back, he's trapped, and Cole has his prey in front. No worry. Shuts it down in the 1v1. Uh, big smokes, the headshot angle one. We got one in CT and the close cat smoke. Molly to push Zaiwu back. He's got to hide on the ramp. 30 seconds. That's a great shot. Zaiwu finding the bomb out on the ground. And FaZe now down by two. They're even getting flanked. Shox has pushed all the way in from the back line. Cold will trade that kill. FaZe need fast kills and they need them now. Oh dear, the double peak will end their life. And Vitality. Well, Shox, the guy who's just on camera, very much fits into that same category. It felt like. For the longest time, we were all waiting for that vintage Shocks performance, and it feels like he's finally starting to give it to us. In this round, Brokey's opened up with an early frag onto Zaiwu. We see Shocks now donning that AWP from Zaiwu's body. As he works his way into the B site, Masuba's going aggressive. Kirby is going to mop that one up. And so now we're into this five on three. Short control taken, four phase. Vitality going to stack two players back in towards this A site. And while that was happening, Kirby was trying to sneak his way into B, but Shox was watching ever so diligently. This Molotov forces FaZe back off of short. RPK's just floating around. Love his hair, by the way. Nice and silver. Fox. Silver. Yeah, silver, silver Fox. Fox. Yeah, that's what we've been calling silver him. Fox. The Silver Fox of Vitality. And oh, Shoxy down here in mid. Only good for one. RPK ah, goes in through the back and gets bested by Raid. The sight line open, and now this secondary AWP of Zai Wu about to get rewarded, perhaps. Nico jiggling the angle. I don't know how many more times you want to peep that if you're Zai Wu. RPK is engaged in a bit of a fight that he can't get out of at long. Shox has come rotating in with this AWP, but now posted up on the angle oh. is a man named Brokey. The flash is going. Oh, no. oh Kirby, one bullet. <laughs> Tried to land it. Tried to make it work. Zai Wu flashed off the angle, and Brokey's going to best him. Nico's up in the A site and almost had the element of surprise, but Masuta checks for it. Damage through the smoke, not quite finding a kill. Now look at Apex. Look at this guy. Look at him. Ooh, Apex. He sees the barrel. Oh, oh broken. No. He faked the bomb plot. And now Apex is in the site. That's a disaster. He got off it right as he was done with the planting animation. Just switching a second too soon. Two different height levels set up here. I can't think of the word. Different verticality. That's the one. Kirby, as he tries to peek that, the double peek is in and he can't dodge it. That's going to cost them phase quite literally losing the money. They would have loved that bomb plant at a bare minimum because now they're down to a tech nine on Brokey. Fast B play through the smoke. Good trade from Nico. Cold is fed to the Wolves and Apex and Shocks are still here to play. They don't know about Shocks yet. That Molly's going to force phase in or out and they will go into the jaws of Shocks. Two more for him and a lovely B hole for Vitality. They've been running these triple B was pretty consistent. Ah, oh, RPK. Here it is. Here's the mode down. There's two. There it is. All of them for RPK. And a seventh on the board for Team Vitality. Get that door smoking, perhaps, Zaiwu. How fast are you? Very. Brokey's gone, and Zaiwu gets a chance to scope up again. No need, as FaZe won't be feeding the beast. The Molotov is down, and Nico's going to pick up the AWP. 
Elsewhere they go to avoid Zaiwu. And look at the long push. Top mid is controlled. That was enough info gained by Zaiwu. They, they don't have to care about a Lurk or a player waiting around. Shox is supporting RPK, who's going to find two. Shox dead. RPK, another 4K back to back. This time it's against the guns. And nothing will stop this man. 16 to 6. Yeah, I, I like oh. this slow start from FaZe, but it's it's ticking down the clock, Harry. There's only 20 seconds left. They've got to make a move. And this bomb is so deep on long. So RPK, if he stays alive and he doesn't, that could have been everything. Apex needs kills and he eats him now. 15 seconds. Apex pre-firing. He can't finish off the job. The inaccuracy bites him back. And Rain has taken this round for FaZe. There's nothing Shox can do except take down the bomb. And he hits the leg on Brokey. If only Shox took that kill, that would have been the round. But the jump across saves FaZe. Okay. And Brokey's just holding for Zaiwu. He gets that pick, and that opens up a world of opportunity. Shocks finds one on the exit. But Rain, he ain't going to be too sad about that round. Three kills to his name, and... The four remaining players have phased. Left to have Nico lead them from beyond the grave. Going to start to push up through long. Nades raining over. Flash is going to get Kirby across, and he does best RPK. This Molotov going to keep Masuta out of Catwalk, Whoa. and it's the double molly as well. Followed up by a smoke from FaZe, and actually the Molotovs being there leave a huge gap in that smoke. As a result, Daiwu and Masuta are over at short, re-smoke for FaZe, and now the nades raining through Kirby in this close angle. This is not something that Vitality are going to be ready for, surely. As all three of them group up over here short side, Zaiwu's going to flash along with his teammate, but Kirby ain't <laughs> blind, and as a result, he gets them all. It's just shocks left in the 1v4. Pretty tall order for someone this low on HP and Kirby playing. Oh man, there's a re-smoke. This is rough. That's horrific. Phase. They uh they yeah, they just force so shocks to save at round 15. Stats. So you know, yeah, playing for stats. All of us want to give the kill over. It is another round for phase at the end of the first half of play and a save for Shoxy. Plant is safe. It's not for shocks either. Kirby should be able to deal with this flank. Although, Vitality, this all feels too good to be true. They're going to be very uh, aware and waiting for someone to come in from this position. Kirby's given up his position, oh. and Shox is letting them pass. This is perfection. Oh. They have no idea. Oh. One, two. Oh, ah. dear, there's the dink. And he just needs to stay alive. He doesn't even need to fight because this bomb is planted for short, a position that Vitality already owned. Nico's come in with a double. This is pandemonium. Apex is like, Shox, help me, please. I just need some assistance. And oh, Shox does beat Kirby, but they're on the bomb. They're sticking it. Nico is a kit and he's going to get away with the defuse. And Shox, oh. just a second too late. FaZe get the pistol round. There's the run boost. In they go. Well, Masuta, <laughs> valiant attempt. Oh, Nico with three on the USP as well. You hate to see it. That second pistol round for Nico. Coldera's got this flash for Brokey, he's currently playing anti-flash, he goes back in, it's a good flashbang and that delays the trade onto Brokey following up with that Molotov, but it's missed the mark somewhat. It's going to delay the push from RPK and that buys precious time for the rotations. Oh. Nico still holding short, was determined to put a stop to a flank that somehow he knows about. RPK now, 1v3. Waits for the peak from Nico. Nothing given over yet. Going to try and maneuver around this smoke. But Nico posted up at the double doors. That's a terrifying sight to contend with. And Whoa. a missed shot. But there's Rain to pick up the pieces. It's 10 on the board and a team ace for FaZe. Flash to facilitate this peak. This is a great little wombo combo. There's the flashbang. It works. Rain doesn't get rewarded, but he gets him oh, on dropping yeah. down. Apex is going to catch him down here in middle. That's Kirby's green light to get the hell out of long doors and start to come in on this flank. But the B site has fallen. Kirby gets dropped as well. And it's Nico left in a 1v3. He's dealt with the first man. They do get one into the B site. Shox is over on catwalk as well. Nico is aware that temporarily there's a 1v1 inside of B. Masuta ooh, catches the Timing, no Nico way. goes back for the mid player, and now just Masuta left to find. He doesn't know where he's gone, and Masuta just narrowly gets that one over the line. It's a damn good try. Smokes are landing on that CT spawn. Shox is dropping off into it. Rain is so blinded, but he's still going to get away with a kill. Somehow down to six, but still standing tall. Kiemi does what he needs to do. Gets one, traded, and Mizuta's found the AWP on the A side. That is huge as well. Nico had to move after Kiemi went down, and in his dying movement, he's going to get caught off by that cat lurk. Zaiwu gets the bomb planted on the A site, and FaZe, they've got to give this one a go. Brokey has a Molotov. He needs to get that in ASAP. Zaiwu's dropped his smoke. That could provide a bit 
a sanctuary inside of the site, and he's pulled out the AWP off the body of Nico as well. There's the shot, broken core. Zaiwu can't follow up, and Rain and 6 HP has somehow made this one close. Mizuta should be a free kill oh. through the wall and through the smoke. Somehow, it's RPK in the clutch. He's moved in, he's closed the distance at long. He spots Cole, but it's Rain, six points of health, and a 4K in the round. Chuck's making some noise. Rain ain't falling for it. Adit Ney could be chunky, and with the lack of armor, it really is. No Molly to follow. Brokey one taps down RBK. The flash isn't even in. It's not even needed, because Brokey has already won this round. Great shot for Zai Wu. He's actually found the AK as well from the body of Apex, but can he really do anything with it? The answer to Catwalk. The problem is, and this is something that Vitality are not aware of at all, is that FaZe have stacked very, very heavily, both at the Catwalk oh, and at this yeah. A site in general. They flash Kirby in. While he's only good for one, the flashes, they keep coming, and that's going to hold back this push. Now that they've spotted Masuta, they're pretty sure in this assumption in the A split. RPK giving up the goods. Oh, oh he's in with the third. RPK has actually just rescued this round for Vitality. There were four players in this site and RPK deals with almost every single one of them. Brokey in the clutch, but this man is often so good in these situations. He takes out the first, even spots RPK at the back of the site. Uh, there we go, he grabs the AK, takes him a moment, looking for the kill. Oh, RPK in with number four and a 13th on the board for Vitality to the bottom of mid. Kirby is wrapped all the way around. So he gets the, this is much better time for Kirby. He gets the info that it is a B play. He, he assures FaZe that they're right in this assumption and Brokey holding it down with Cold. They make quick work of the push, leaving it onto Shocks in what was a 1v5, now 1v4, but with only 12 points of health. He's cleared everything out. He calls to it. FaZe send a third rotation in the form of Rain over towards that B site from middle. Right now, Vitality might be drowning soon. They are forcing up against 13. This is a dangerous decision, but it's the best one they got. Oh dear, Nico and Rain in tandem hitting a shot apiece. Sai Wu with a tech, it's bad, it's spamming, but he will get saved by his teammate. RPK finding two of the P2, and RPK? somehow he's gonna do it again, all on his own. Look at the bomb, it's dropped into spawn. They don't know that Cold is on cat. Apex is so far away, and Cold could end this round right here, right now, he's done it. But will he be ready for Apex on the longest lurk, the biggest flank this world has ever seen. If he keeps running, he is surely dead. And so he's going to start to sneak. Cold, not aware. <laughs> Who wins this? Cold's going to have to land the flick of a lifetime. There it is. There's the peak and Cold gets it done. 14 for FaZe. Give it away when you have an advantage. You're not requiring this info so much. Thanks to Nico. Broki, well time smoke. They have seen him there. He hits the shock and the deed. Bail them out. Oh, Zywu gets spammed. And that's surely the round. Shocks can grab the pistol, but what can he really do with it? He's not even brought the bomb. And maybe that's a bit realistic. Hey, you can tell where his mind's at, right? You don't grab that bomb. You're just playing for damage. And the damage is all coming the other way. Oh, oh, there it is. Broki securing the 4K putting map point on the line for FaZe. And when they have done this, Vitality have had no way to get into that position. They're gonna run up cat fast. The flick for Nico hits the shot. He won't take the kill. In fact, he'll lose his life. And it's RPK once again, being the hero of the French side. Oh, Zai Wu in with one, make it two. It's actually RPK to steal it away. Brokey and Cold Zera, two on five to try and deny overtime and Cold down in the pit while he has dealt with the first. Oh, Can't follow up onto the tank who spanks him down. It's all onto Brokey in a 1v4. Out through mid he goes, but lurk it up in the top. It's Apex ready to put a stop to this wrap from Brokey. He does get bested. 1v3 now. Up onto the catwalk, but Masuta and Shox both lying in wait to deal with him. There's the first. Brokey bought down low, and the Molotov oh. has put a stop to the push. Oh. He <laughs> perishes in the flames, and this game, this dust to effect. Faze, this is their map pick. Ooh. And it's a fast long play. Rain ain't even looking. He smoked off. They're already deep. They're already out. And Zai Wu going to open up with the first. Masuta follows, and long. Well, it belongs to Vitality.
FaZe are definitely not ready for that kind of pacing. And now Vitality, they take long, but they go back. Now that's info that Nico should have. Brokey's killed one in middle, but it's not the end of the world right now because FaZe has split 1-1-1. One, one, one. Uh, with only Cold here at B, he's going to have to put up a monstrous hold. Brokey, his rotation is perfection. He's actually in the sight as well. He's here to the death, till the bitter end. He's drawn their attention. They'll still check him. Mizuta doesn't fall for it, but he will fall after that kill. Doesn't matter. The B site belongs to Vitality, and the round will follow as well. And so Nico, he's not even going further than this. He's just playing for these exits, and here they come. Oh, oh this shot goes back, but RPK, as we've come to expect from him, trying to hold down Catwalk. There's a lot of utility going his way, but it's a mid play. Zai Wu caught by Raid. And that might cause Vitality to go back into this A side take. Now, Kirby waiting with this org. Apex. Oh, there's the head, and Kirby delivers the kill. Followed up onto by Masuta, oh, no. but it burns in Apex's Molotov. He had it out in his yeah. hands. Yeah, he so was he trying to throw it, it. That's such a shame. Nico, woo, a little flick back round to deal with shocks, and that leaves RPK, the tank, to have to come alive. Taps down Nico, and now into a 1v3. RPK, this man's been getting a lot of love for this performance. Let's see. RPK still standing tall, waiting for the fight. He actually drops down. Rain is in CT, and RPK is not aware of it. Brokey's going to get the kill. It's 16 for FaZe, 17 for Vitality. And this could be perfect if these CTs decide to get a little bit antsy. Whoop, there's one. Any more for Cold Zera? RPK oh, oh. peaks when the molly comes out, and now they can wrap onto short. That forces FaZe to have to just hit the hit the gas on this one and commit to an A play that they kind of been forced into. Nico flashed off the angle. Zaiwu is going to collect these kills. There's another. As now this bomb goes down inside of the A site, Kirby wrapping into Ooh. long, but RPK here in with his second. It's all left on to Rain, and he gets bested right away. 18 for Vitality, map point on their opponent's map pick. Taking it over Nico. Zaiwu's got the AWP on long, a great, great shot to open up. Going to try and flick to the second. He gets spammed back, but he doesn't need to commit here. That opening kill has provided a lot, and he's got more where that came from. Nico with one out in tunnels, catches Apex aggressive on catwalk, but Zaiwu has done the damage. He's found two. What what, what happened? Uh, this guy has come alive. From the car, Masuta has cleared out the tunnels. That's an early rotate into the A site phase. They've been read like a book. Zaiwu on the angle. Oh. They're going to try and run boost Ready. cold round, but he plucks Nico out from the bottom. Zaiwu, another. He's on for the ace. Cold's homed in on his position. Molotov out. Zaiwu missing the flick, but there's shocks to save the day. And Vitality, they take dust two. They deal with the threat and they go 1 0 up. Let's find this pistol round, Harry. Yes, indeed. And look at this. Nico, Brokey, and Rain pushing through ramp. I love this. And there's the reward for it. Shocks is dealt with. They don't know the exact numbers of these players in the back. And it's a follow up for Rain and Brokey. Zaiwu oh. and Apex, they're fighting back into the lobby. They've traded places. As now they end up where FaZe just come from. Apex tries to take that fight. And that's maybe a little bit overzealous there. Zaiwu all alone. Cold tagging him up, but does get put in the ground. It's now the 1v2 for Zaiwu. This kit drops at ramp. So even though they know where he is, they can come and you know chase him down together. Zaiwu, how much time can he stall off of this clock? Gonna jump around, move off, and now just take the straight up fights. Nico hits the immediate headshot, and he has a spanking pistol around. Three kills from him. It's MP9 time, baby. Let's get stuck in with Brokey. He spots three. Nade's going to find a little bit of chip damage, and it's actually Nico to snatch them away. Brokey now goes aggressive, looking to corner Apex in outside. Ramp gets lost as Shox puts up another, but still holding it down from hell is Cold Terror. And there's all the kills coming in in favor of FaZe. It's 3 and 0. Oh. Now, with the smoke falling over by hell. That's going to draw attention around back into this A site. Nico only good for one and Rain falls at the first hurdle. Bomb plant found here for Vitality and a three on four for FaZe. Pretty rough spot to be in. Yeah, we, we see that a lot in early games of Nuke doing exactly what Vitality did. Some teams even did it in the pistol. That's what Astralis did in the pistol against Vitality. 
Vitality, nice little execute there. Do they have more for us? A hot, a hot roof molly. Looks like an A set piece. Already players running out into the site. Apex is so blind, but no one's even seen him. Rain is trapped, uh, cornered on the top of the hut. And well, now he's going to find two from the top side. Traded by Shoxy, but a two on four. Vitality, not in the best of spots. Do they drop Vent? The B site is clear right now. That is an option. But Shox has walked back into the lobby to care for a ramp rap. Daiwu holding heaven. With three players moving in through the heavens and then one late up through the vents, mm. it's all going to come down to timings here. And whether or not Vitality are able to spot this, a nice tap from Shox, a follow up from Zai Wu. Now a man up through the ladder. Zai Wu's going to deal with him. It's all left onto Brokey in the clutch, down to the 1v1. And there's so little time. He's backing away. He's giving this round up. Vitality. I don't even know how that happens. FaZe again knew exactly what was going on. They gave them the respect, they gave them the sight. I, I, I'm lost. FaZe, they are going to be even more so. Down to pistols. It's a fast ramp, but fully flashed is RPK. Kiebi gets one before he drops. He's always good at that, at least. But it's Brokey down on B with a hero M4. The one weapon to do it all. And somehow, FaZe are making this work. Again, it's stripped away in the blink of an eye. Back to a two-on-two. -two. And with these lower rotations coming through, Vitality go to the other side of the map. They take ramp to heaven. Yeah, time is their friend right now. Masuta taking this bomb into heaven. That's a bit of a gamble. He's going to wait for contact to be made by Apex before swinging a deal with this. Oh, no! Oh, accidentally jumps. Oh, no. Scroll wheel is around the world molding right now as this falls into the 1v1. Nico on the other side. And this is a clutch he's going to give a go. It's a very low HP Masuta left in this one for Vitality. Gets himself up on top of the hut. Starts to hold the heavens, but the problem is he has no idea where Nico's coming from. And Masuta is trying to hold every angle in the playbook, oh. but he goes back at just the right timing. Four on the board for Vitality. Oh, now they hear the smokes broke. He's going to take a peek and he might get rewarded. Ooh, missed shot. And that's given over some room. Shocks does get dropped, and that's the bomb. That's the most important thing in the game going in first. Nico dealt with by RPK. Ooh. Another missed shot for Brokey, and he's going to get punished for it. This was another two on five. Surely it cannot happen again. Now we're into this two on three. Vitality, they have been jammy. They have been disgusting. They've somehow managed to win so many of these rounds. And FaZe cannot afford to have another one of these huge advantageous positions slip in FaZe of the opposition, Apex and RPK teetering into the site. Oh. They've dealt with Raid and now Cold from the hut. They knew he was here earlier. The lineup is there, but Apex is in with another. Not again, not again, Vitality. You can't do this to FaZe. It's just Kirby, the fresh face in FaZe clan, looking for a 1v2. He runs the gauntlet and RPK oh finds my. him. It's happened again, Vitality, a seventh round. If it works, it's cool. If it doesn't, that's fine as well. We'll win the round. Okay, Lobby phase, crunch yeah, from this is They pick up the pace and they shoot Ooh. RPK in the face. That's the man advantage taken. A quick attempt to get down through secret for the remaining Vitality players. Now leaves them in the firing line of Nico's Deagle and I couldn't think of anything. I would find more deadly Nico doing damage, but only rewarded with one kill. Zaiwu actually helping out. A spy behind enemy lines in Zai Wu and Brokey now finding Apex. Zai Wu, he team killed to leave himself now in the clutch. Brokey's still down at the bottom of the vents, but Zai Wu, he shouldn't have been able to get here. They thought that Main was under lock and key. Doesn't matter to Brokey as he nails the shot. Phase with a bit of aggression, with a bit of tenacity. Usually so dependable, but in these last few rounds, you can see the pressure getting to him. Shox has put this back into a four on four with a kill onto Nico outside. And there's the follow up cold bites the dust. Moving into heaven is Brokey to try and lock down outside and he does best Zai Wu. So immediately turn back into a three on three. There's a push Ooh. through this outside smoke from rain, but that leaves him in the firing line of Apex. And now back into a three on two. Brokey's repositioned into CT. Trying as best he can to spot something with the orb. Kirby, this fight makes or breaks the round. And dealing with shocks has left this side of the map under phase control, but maybe only temporarily. Kirby. Ooh, don't do this to me, Brokey. Okay, he's back on the angle. It should be okay. Masuta sneaking into the crosshair. The easiest kill of Brokey's career. The bomb going down in A, and it's Apex all alone to try and clutch the round out. Brokey up in heaven.
Molly goes in to delay the push, and Apex moving back outside, looking at Secret, deals with Kirby, and now just Brokey left to find. He hasn't been discreet in this rotation. Smoke's down in main. Apex has all the information Whoa. right now. Tag through the smoke. Follow-up shots don't land. Flashing through is Brokey. That gets him into the site at least, but the time now working against him. Apex hiding away at the back of the site, and there's the peak, the 1v2 for Apex, four in the round. In the round prior, Shox, oh, he's been spotted. Nico with a swing, Shox hits the kill. That's the AK for you, immediate headshot versus the 94 damage of Nico. It's not gonna be enough. And now getting even a timing to Secret. Brokey called, he could be down, but he doesn't know to say for sure. Kierby has got to put up a fight. Oh, sees the head of Apex, gets the dink, wants the kill, chases it down, and Apex tagged even lower. RPK going to find rain in the meantime. Kierby still hunting down what? Apex, and he gets smoked off. And it will be this B play. Kierby, can he hold the line? He's going to have to hold the line if FaZe want a chance at a fifth round. He's the only man here, the only man nearby, and he rises to the occasion. Kierby with three, and Apex left all alone. So little time. Oh. Has nailed the first, but 10 seconds on this clock. This should be an impossible round for Apex. Cold isn't even pushing. He knows that by giving up a fight, it could throw the round away. And so this one's over. It's a fifth on the board for FaZe at the end of the first half. Ten for Vitality. All oh, those odds are getting grim, and the reality may be grimmer unless these T's can put up a fight down on the ramp side. Shox drops very fast, and oh, he's going to get overrun. He's even got rotations. Mizuta drawing them in, and Shox has been knocked down. Mizuta needs a double here. He's done exactly that but the reload coming in cold flies from above and it's a three on three good odds for phase but well vitality just wait till they lose a man and suddenly they'll come alive i've, I've figured this out i'm the chief detective it's not b and oh, you know no. there's only one site left other than that oh oh, oh dear ah, ah, rpk run <laughs> he misses the chance he misses the shots but now they go up in heaven zaiwu wait impatiently that's the bomb dropped in heaven nico this becomes an undoable round surely he needs this kill and then he has to go and retrieve that bomb and zaiwu <laughs> nails it vitality pistol round secured 11 on the board very much in the lead. Masuta up here on top of the hut is about to get tested in a very big way. There's the legs of rain. Zaiwu mowing down the other two. The bomb dropped and Cold Zero, while he has reclaimed one, it's still the huge advantage for Vitality. They're wrapping players in through the back line. This slowdown from FaZe has given them a couple of kills. And they even seem aware that Shox might have gone aggressive. Cole doesn't often miss these, but in this round he will. Shox is able to find it, and that leaves Nico all alone, but event drop open. They group up. Nico goes back to Decon. Ooh, and everyone okay. for Vitality has gone towards those double doors. Nico, first man in, is the first to fall. Masuta hits the deck. And now Nico, Molotov out. They're on the bomb. He can't do anything about it. Running through the molly. Oh. And he perishes in the flames. 13 for Vitality. There's no pressure right now. Vitality. They can make risks, they can make moves. And not to mention, right, even if they were to somehow lose this map, they've still got a third that they go to to try and pick it up on. So the pressure's that much ease. Now this say site in this round has fallen and Iwu goes down shortly there and after, but shocks in what was a 1v3. If that happens again, I don't want to say anything because it might happen again. Shocks swinging out, this time dealt with by rain. And so finally, he's done a little heaven smoke as well. Ooh. Try and get them across, but Cold gets bested straight away. An interesting way to try and take outside. Heaven smoked, so is Hell, and then they've also smoked off main. So that leaves Garage as the only point of contact, but that is where Zaiwu lies, and he's looking for these players, trying to get the better of him. Masuta is waiting on the other side of this main smoke. They've grouped up so many players outside, and FaZe, they're walking right into the stack, into the lion's den, tag on a Brokey, and they're just hunting him down. They know they've got him trapped, so they deal with him. It leaves Kirby all alone in a 1v5. He needs an ace clutch to keep FaZe in this game. Forget the plant. And what kills are going to present themselves? RBK, oh, he's close. He's been spotted, fired off a shot, and the next one will connect. Three for the tank, as he had 37 kills in the previous map. He's storming through this one too, and that is a rough clutch to lose. Running out of main after he gets one and just chases down Brokey outside. Oh. Zaiwu as well, Anymore. welcome to the party. Ooh, he's still getting challenged, still looking to put up a fight, Zaiwu. 
after nailing the first, but now he loses Masuta back in main, and that's going to temper this aggression a little bit from Zai Wu. He actually swings back out. He's going towards the door. This is a risky, ballsy fight to take, and not one that Zai Wu should be winning. Kirby holding the doors. Zai Wu now trapped at the vents, gets blindsided, and now the lobby crunch coming in from ramp, but that Molotov is going to isolate these oh. fights, and Cold lines up the collateral. Eight on the board for FaZe. Player in this position is now open, but that is not the case. And so FaZe are walking back into A. Shox two is, players remain. Shox has just gone aggressive. He's oh. just got this information. He's coming in on this lurk. And while they do deal with Zaiwu outside, Shox and Masuta still a threat here. Cold follows up, but Shoxy so fast on this rap. Cold goes back for <laughs> it. And it's 10 on the board for FaZe. Now reaching double digits as well. Wrangles, don't you worry about it. Cold holding outside. And Kirby here with him. There's also a player watching from heaven. This is uh, a death run here. It's not a fun little Gmod game. Oh no, it's just a uh, literal sense. They all fall. 11 on the board for FaZe. Four now. Timing is everything. Nico has been very, very good at catching these outside players. He's seen him, and he's going to duck peek him as well. Nico crouching below the shot. The aim punch is a problem. Saiwu is gone. Shox has right. his box position. It might not be expected. I love this position for Shox. For some reason, no one ever checks this anymore. And Shox, oh, they think he's already dropped the B. There's one down. They turn back. They deal with him. Shox only good for one, as is often the case. Every time he's tried to play these trigger discipline moments, too many bodies getting by. And now Apex in the ramp room. RPK in main, two on four. This might have to be a save. If he continues with the knife, oh, RPK lets him pass. That's fine though. It's not really a worry for Vitality. They are more looking to close out this game. Is close behind red. Look at the amount of CTs here. We've got Mizuta in main. We've got Apex with the org behind the smoke spamming. That can face uh, uh, Nico in. He's not ready. Shox is going to get the kill. There's a player on silo to trade. Kierbi will not let, let that kill go unsaid. Rain gets down to secret. These wide smokes are good, and Kiev even catches Apex behind the garage as well. So further kills for FaZe to put them a man up that led Vitality to get seven in a row at the start of this map. It was off the back of the exact same gamble, except, you know, Vitality, the oh dear, the reason they go for the gamble is they only have three up. They can't afford to leave two players on eight. They have to commit together wherever it is, and they make the 50-50. It doesn't fall in their favor. Cold's dropped as well. Vitality fighting tooth and nail to get away with these guns. And Kiebi's luck has been excellent in this T side right now. Holding onto Silo, getting those trades outside, clearing lobby when needed. Rain. Oh, he might have something here. There's a player to his left. The bomb noise covers up his footsteps and he takes down the orb with seconds remaining. A sore Apex. Oh, no. Nico certainly could have, but Apex is an unknown entity Ooh. right now. He could make or break this round. And peeking down, he's dealt with the first. No trade found. Phase. They have grinded out countless rounds from 15 7 down. Yeah, typically you only want one guy in this position outside, right? Either Kierby or Nico, both of them being still here. Means that FaZe don't want to rush the gun. They don't want to commit too early, but that's been one dropped rain found in the window by Zaiwu. Now it's down to the wrap. They've got to clear out the garage. They don't know Shox is still here. Oh, he's got two targets to pick from. Why don't take he does why doesn't he take them both? He does. Two kills, Mizuta closes, and that is it. Vitality 16 to 14. They push it over the line. They get into the playoffs. They eliminate FaZe Clan despite a well-earned try.